Okay, what we're going to make today is a set of basic forks. These forks here are pretty elaborate really. They're, they're made for the uh, smaller version of the Dom fork. Um, seriously bent. You need uh, some serious equipment to build or to bend this type of fork. Um, the bottom yoke and the top yoke have all been sort of shaped screw around the wheel. <coughs> We're not actually going to be making any, uh, a set of these forks. <coughs> We're going to be making a set of uh, basic forks today. I'll just put it down at the way. You can see the lead and link on the front end of that. Okay, this is the tube what we're going to be using. It's uh, one inch shed 40. It's three mil wall, plenty strong enough, about 27 mil OD. These are going to be the, the standard Cougar um, axle plates at the front with all the different settings for the foot pegs at the back so these all need cleaning up these just come from cleaned up polished up i ain't going to bore you with that now because uh, i'll show you how to polish on another video but uh these need cutting these are the top and the bottom yokes which you've got a 25 degree bend on either side um, and there's the bottom yoke again these all need cleaning up polishing up the fork legs are 300 mil. They're cut at 25 uh, degrees, one end, and 25. Rotate the tube round 90 degrees the other end. You cut 25 degrees. Yeah, the polished up. The uh, fork legs are cut. And this is what I was meaning. We'll cut 25 degrees one way, and then if you look at the bottom and we rotate it, it's been. 25 degrees the other way. Remember to make them opposite hands for the two sides of the fork legs. These are 300 mil overall. The easiest way to make forks, you can do it without it, but the easiest way is to make a little jig up so you keep everything square. And I've got various jigs for various different types of forks, what I've, what I've done over the years and uh, I'll show you the jig what I'm going to use now. Okay, so uh, here's the jig. It's uh, set up, we've got three bars on here, uh, 25 by six, and the fork legs sit on these bars, that keeps them dead level. Inside here I've got some uh, adjustable clamps, these slide in and out of these slots and uh, I, I use them for various uh, fork widths and what have you. I can basically um, make any type of fork on this jig. Uh, I've got the long, obviously the, the, the big foot forks, you need the longer fork legs, so that's what these ones here are for. They can be turned round, adjusted, do whatever I want to do with them. The scribed marks all over here for the different fork widths, what I use. Um, this part up here is a rectangular box section, 85 mil. This allows for the 80 mil headstock plus a couple of washes. Um, is in this case, it's clamped with uh, a 20 mil um, stud bar, and I extend the stud bar through so you can put a square on the end here and make yeah. sure everything is. There'll be no square. problem with the the forks being out of square or out of true or anything else. Everything is clamped. That's all dead square. The fork legs are square. Everything's secure. You can do it without a jig, but it makes life a lot easier if you have got a jig. And that's forks. my jig. I always tend to make them uh, 160 mil on the inside. This allows, if you ever want to put a, a midi wheel in there, it'll take a midi wheel and it doesn't look out of place if you just have a barrel wheel in there. If you have a barrel fork, that's all a barrel fork can take, a barrel wheel. But with these forks, at least you've got the choice then of a barra wheel or a midi wheel. The choice is yours. Right, now we've got to, uh, we've got the bit awkward part now of tacking it in as many places as we can before we release it out of the jig. So that's what we're going to do. In silence we stand all alone for the fate of our own destiny. We've got 
the, the axle plates propped up the two with some uh, square blocks. These are, this is not critical at this stage, but this is just to get a tack on the back of the forks there. Um, all you've got to do is make sure that the plates are pushed up on the fork leg. And all we're tacking at this stage is just the top, at this point here, so this needs to be in the centre of the tube. Now we're all ready to start welding up and what we'll do first is we'll weld up all around these areas, all around the yokes. And to stop everything pulling and pushing in, I mean once I weld around these, these will have a tendency to pull in. So if we put a stud bar through with a nut on either side, it keeps everything still. One set of uh, Barrow Midi Forks.